Hello and welcome back. I'm just playing this right away. Oh, don't do this, lights. We're gonna go explore this room, and I just found this. Salon Josephine, or Salon, or I don't know. Yeah, Salon, I guess so. She shampooed, set, colored, permed, manicured. Who perms their hair? $119! That's a, that's a hefty price. Okay. Bam. El Espanol. Oh, I can just turn on this light. Hey, Lani, sorry mom was being such a bitch last night. She hardly ever, uh, she's hardly ever around since the forest was like an hour away and whatever. Uh, I'm sorry. Haha, <laughs> it's okay. I know she's just jealous of our cool and free, I can't read their handwriting, free whipping lifestyles. I feel sorry for you. I'm... Lavoki? <laughs> lucky? Lucky. I'm also stupid. That's lucky. I'm lucky my mom lives in Florida. You have a mom every day. So I didn't mean to bring it up, uh, the mom thing like that. I know I shouldn't complain. No, I'm being serious. My mom is a psycho Christian. And uh, her new husband, Don, is a complete tool. Living in Florida with him is like eternal punishment in my mind. So you wouldn't rather live in Florida with your mom? No! <laughs> I guess that's what she was saying. Can I read any of those things? No. Close that. Oh, wow, I almost missed that. All right. There's a documentary called Inside Edition. Mm-hmm. Investigative team visits a camp with specialists, adolescents, overcome deviant and homosexuality. Oh. Katie, you know how mom and dad are. Not exactly super open-minded about things. It feels like every minute I don't spend with Lonnie, I spend worrying about them finding out about us. And what would happen if they did? You know Dad's joke about the nunnery that he'd tell whenever you brought boys around the old house? I wonder where he'd want to send me. You just can't complain. What's this? National ticket. Oh, they watched Earth, Wind, and Fire. Ah. That's, that's a cheap price, too. But I guess it was like, you know. Okay. Anyway. So, there's... Okay, so just more more to explore. Slide that door. And, uh, read that note. Sam. The skull was like the coolest thing I've ever found in Mexico. And it was like only three bucks. American. I love it. Merry Christmas. Miss you. Love, Lonnie. P.S. Treasure it always. Where's the skull? I want this. I want to see it. Oh, that's the thing. I'm like, whoa, what's that? Hi, Jan. I took two tickets for Earth, Wind, and Fire on Thursday, but my girlfriend says she doesn't want. Uh, she doesn't want so. Her taste in music rears this ugly head again. So that leaves me with an extra ticket that I thought you might well, might be interested in more than clearing brush in the freezing rain, right? Rick. Nope, nope, get out of here. Can't can I see that? No, nope. Okay. What's up, slip? Ah, okay. Disturbing inappropriate material uh, distributing inappropriate materials in school ground. Disciplinary action phone call to students' parents out of school suspension. <gasps> For doing what? What did you do? Sam, since you refuse to hear us out this afternoon, your mother and I are putting this uh, in writing so that you can be, so we are absolutely clear. You are grounded for the rest of the month from social and telephone privileges. And from using your car anytime except going from, uh, to and from school. We understand that you are going through uh, what we understand what you're going through, but we can't allow you to continue with this kind of behavior at school. And clearly, one of your privileges and reinstall uh, one and clearly one of your privileges are reinstalled. Oh, okay. We cannot, we can't allow you to have your bedroom door closed while Lonnie is at the house. This is the last word of the matter. Get back on course so we don't have to have it happen again, Dad. So I think that Dad's pretty cool. I think he understands what's going on. 
had an interesting talk with mom and dad tonight. When you were never gonna need to have. I mean, you've known, right? I've known. Yeah, I did it. I've known since, like, she -Ra. Mom and dad didn't, I guess. But they saw the zine and the stuff on the locker, and they were like, is there something we should know about you and Lonnie? And so here's the thing. I was prepared for them to be mad, or disappointed, or start crying, or something. But they were just in denial. You're too young to know what you want. You and Lonnie are just good friends. You just haven't met the right boy. It's a phase. That's what I didn't see coming. That they wouldn't even respect me enough to believe me. Well, joke's on them. Because they're in for one very long phase. Again, at least they weren't total bitches. I mean, I guess that's pretty bad, but... I mean... Yeah. Did I see this? Yeah, I did see this. Okay. Hit a button. Come to me. The gits. That's how this went. No, I didn't see this. First off, congratulations! And it's in cursive, and I don't really want to read it. But it's by Carol, so you guys can read it. Good job, Carol. Why is why is life so dark? I mean, like the room, not really life. Okay, don't want to get lost in the fact where I don't want to make. I want to make sure I got every room before I do anything. So that's the same room as that one right there. So then I guess this is the next stop. Oh, well, there's always a cassette next to those bastards. Oh, there it is. Pizza. Matches? No. No. Okay, put that back. Open fridge and freezer. Ew, I thought I saw... I don't know what I saw. Fish sticks. I heard you guys like fish sticks. <gasps> Cheese. Okay, I got I got an idea. Nope, open. Well, I guess it's in the pot. That's not bad. Go in. Do they have macaroni? Veggies. Cheesy veggies. Some cream. We start it. Damn. Okay, now I'm just fucking around. Close dishwasher. Good job. <sighs> Same schedule working at the Crown Burger on all those days. Close, close. Um. Cups, cups, cups. Beans, beans, the magical fruit. The more you eat, the more you toot. Hmm. Oh, there's a story right here. Samantha and Dana were on the were in the woods one day. It was sunny, and they were on a adventure. Uh, uh, they were. Oh, okay. This is like a little kid writing adventure. But they went to the some the. the bad part of the woods and they, they get dark. Daniel said, are you scarred? So Samantha said, no, are you? They laughed and they were in bad part, into the bad part. Man, I don't, it was a pirate ship on a auction. Samantha said, it'll be captain and you'll be I kept, yeah, and that's them. That's a Daniel finally came over to get his game. I'd been dreading it. 
but he brought this story with him that I wrote when we were little. I started reading it, and then there I was, crying at the kitchen table. He asked what was wrong, and I was thinking about how we used to be friends, how much I take him for granted. But instead, I told him about school, and Dad, and Lonnie. And then how sorry I was that I wasn't his friend anymore. He gave me a hug and said it was going to be okay. And for some reason, I almost believed him. Okay. I think we found the right boy. This can end two ways. And one of those ways is she realizes her parents were right. For her. You know, for, right for her. And it was just a phase. And she just really hasn't had a friend. And that friend was just like, hey, I want to make out with you. And she took it to heart. You know? Because, you know, she can be one of those people who are just like easily, I don't say manipulated. Because that's not true. But, I don't know. If she's never experienced a relationship before, then, hey. I mean, it's not like I haven't kissed men before. What's this? Oh, I love Thousand Island dressing. We can go make Reuben sandwiches. Go like that. No, I don't want to read you. I want to I wanna find sauerkraut. Oh, Russian dressing's good too, but I don't want that. Nope. No sauerkraut. No roast beef or corned beef. We can't make Rubens, I'm sad. I'm wasting water. Turn it off. Okay, good. <laughs> okay, yeah, I read these. Um Shisa. Hmm. It's just cereal and cans. I think I got most of what's there. Let's go to this room. Oh, okay. This is like the garage, I think. Yeah, this has to be the garage. Which means there has to be something here. Your mother and I will be away for a long we weekend, celebrating your anniversary, June 3rd to 7th. We'll be camping out in the gorge, but we will give you a call on the way home. Sorry, the kitchen is a. It is still... What? Whatever. Renovated. Never trust a contractor. Forty dollars is on the table to order pizza while we're gone. Pizza for like five days is just probably the worst punishment known to man. <laughs> Worked at Crown Burgers. Okay, so that's already on. And, uh, yeah! What, is, what was here? What was here? Like, I just, I don't... There has to be something here. Yeah, I'm in the garage. Oh, crumpled up, no. Lonnie, my parents are leaving town, so we'll have the whole house to us. Uh, yeah, well, we have run of the whole house till you leave. Imagine actually spending the night in my room instead of sneaking upstairs, or sneaking up to our usual spot in the attic. Oh, okay. Lana, you are gross. You never change. Hmm. We should do it in their parents' bed. Yeah. That's nasty. You never want to do it in your parents' bed, because that's where they made you. And if you can't respect that, then... something wrong with you. Hey. Oh, I was already here. Lonnie had her going away show with her band tonight. I guess not. She's so incredible on stage. When she was singing, I could practically forget everything. Except her voice. That we only had 48 hours left. Make that count. That I don't know what comes next. Loneliness. And I can't live without her. You better not do what I think you're going to do. Because you just said that. She dedicated the last song. To me, I couldn't take it. 
I was out on the curb in the alley, sobbing till my ribs hurt. Aw, boo. I follow her anywhere, Katie. But I can't. Where she's going. After a long time, she found me. She said she was sorry. She said, I wish things could be different. I just wanted to make you happy. I said, I don't think you can anymore. Ooh, harsh. I feel like that's a bit harsh. You can't anymore. Wash it my hand. Okay, what's oh, I was about to walk into that. Uh, nothing in here, I think. Powder cleaner. Hand soaps. Toilet paper, toilet paper roll. And uh, nothing important. Um, it's another bathroom. Oh, that's just a big. Oh, this is the laundry room. Let's open that for a split second. What's that? I thought it was the sluts. Okay. Sits or slits. They have a greenhouse too? Damn. It's dark. It's rainy. I'm in a big house all alone. I feel like there's a woods nearby. This is all just leading up to the first Slender game. I can just tell. Okay. Mm hmm. Hmm. Okay. Cover copy. Mm-hmm. The president is in danger. No. The life you save this time will be your own. Dun 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 dun. Put those books. Oh wait, no. Okay. I thought that would be important. Put those back. The accidental human? Okay. And right here. Where we'll do it all. Jeez. I knew there was something under the stairs. Final preparations complete. Secret door. Right now, next to the foyer. We agreed our last night together would be our happiest ever. And we'd forget tomorrow was going to come at all. We worked for a while. We had a good time seeing Oscar off, then ran up to the attic to look through our photos, to find one for Lonnie to take with her. And looking at them, I realized they were all in the past, and there wouldn't be any more. I didn't know what I was going to do, and I cried, uh -huh. and she held me. She said she knew it was hard, but life would move on. I said I didn't want my life to keep moving without her. That's when she cried too. I was so exhausted. I must have fallen asleep like that in her arms. In the morning, I woke up and I was finally alone. What? Well, when I thought they were going to do it, I was thinking something else. Shaking cans up for you the guys. The sunset light in this house is the saddest thing I've ever seen. I just want to sleep. When I'm in the attic, it almost feels like Lonnie could still be here. She's just downstairs. I'm just waiting to hear her pull down the hatch and come running up. Maybe I'll go up to the attic and wait. Okay, attic we go. I feel like this is ending. I'm gonna be really sad. I almost teared up. Okay, here we go. The red lights are on.
No. I don't want anything behind me. I will always remember what we had. Stay strong, kick ass. Love you, Lonnie. Oh my god. Katie. Uh, I fell asleep in the attic. In Lonnie in my old spot. And I missed the first two calls. I just barely caught the third one before the machine got it. And it was Lonnie. On a payphone. She'd been on the bus to basic. And she said she couldn't... She couldn't think of anything but me, and us, and that she couldn't go through with it, with the army and being a part, and all of it. And so she got off the bus in Salem. She said, Sam, I want you to pack up everything you can, and get in your car, and come find me. And let's just drive, until we find somewhere, for us. And she asked me if I could do that. And I said, yes. Yes. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. People walking around in my house. And what's this? It's the ending. Katie, I'm so sorry that I can't be there to see you in person. That I can't tell you all this myself. But I hope as you read this journal and you think back, that you'll understand why I had to do what I did. And that you won't be sad and you won't hate me. And you'll just know that I am where I need to be. I love you so much, Katie. I'll see you again someday. Love, Sam. Okay. I kind of wish I saw them though. So they she just they ran away together. And then I never got to see him. I like the story though, I really did. Hmm. Alright. Yeah. Alright, I hope you liked that as much as I did. Um, again, it's by the creators of Bi the original Bioshock, who also did, I think, Infinite as well. Not two, but Bioshock 1 and Infinite. They did this. It's like a short game. I, I really like that. I like. I like games with like a story or a narrative. Even though there wasn't really much gameplay, I was just reading a bunch of notes. But I just told you what happened. So, please, for sticking it all the way through, subscribe for more really swagging video games that I'm able to play. And, uh, like the video if you enjoyed the series. If you missed any of the other parts, they'll be on the playlist called Gone Home. Uh,. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.